There is a lot of interest in homosexuality in recent years by religions. And let us examine that. Why did suddenly all this excitement unfold about homosexuality? But first, what is homosexuality? Is it not love between two people that choose not to procreate? Is there something wrong with love? Is love okay only between two people that don't look like each other in the way of where their sexual organs are positioned? Is that what determines things? Is that what determines life? Do you think God really cares how you love each other Do you think God cares if you procreate or not? How much do you think God has to do in a universe where there are billions and billions and billions of galaxies, each galaxy with trillions of solar systems? Do you think life is only here? What is homosexuality? Two people choosing to love each other that choose not to procreate. Why did suddenly homosexuality generate so much interest by religion? It's very simple. When you teach God-fearing religions instead of God-loving religions, then you have to find someone to fear. You have to find someone to attack. And since World War II in the 1940s, attacks on Jews became unpopular after almost 2,000 years. So now all they can do is to generate attacks on someone else. And they have chosen homosexuality as their target. Again, why? There's more to it. Because you see that homosexuality usually requires an open mind. Someone to think on their own not to be driven by others' thoughts, but to be driven by an inner connection. Typically, you find homosexuals are liberal because they are open-minded and they like and enjoy giving to others, unlike conservative religious types who like to create fear in others, especially fear in anyone different than themselves. And nothing is required for fear except a closed mind. An open mind is closer to love all the time. It does not choose fear. The choice is yours. You can continue a life of fear or you can choose the love 